Hi guys, Mysterious Cat Island here, back with more Final Fantasy VI Advance. Uh, we are about to have a really big battle here. Um, this is very similar to the battle we had initially with the guards protecting Terra, uh, except this one's on a bigger scale. That's okay, I've got everybody pretty much equipped as best I can. Talk to Bannon, say yes, we're ready. And then you're going to create parties. Protect the Esper from Kafka. Would you like an explanation? I'm going to roll through it. We'll fight same time using three different groups, using select to switch between them. Gotta defeat Kafka before his men reach Bannon. Gotta protect Bannon. After you've made three parties on the party formation screen, press start to begin. So, we're going to do Terra and Gao, which is really not the recommended for me, or not the formation that's been recommended to me, but that's what I'm going to do anyway. Because again, Locke, Celeste, and Edgar, and Cyan, and Seven. So, here they come. Now, we're going to do pretty much the same strategy. We're going to try and rush forward with Lux Party. Yeah, yeah. Okay, as you can see, he's got quite a few men here. Like I said earlier, you gotta protect Bannon. So we're gonna go ahead and take Terra and put her here. We're gonna start down this path there. And Cyan's gonna come up on this side. Oop. Make sure everyone's healed because you do not auto heal when you go to Narsh. Um, it is something you have to do manually. Shit, and I'm gonna get into a fuck ton of battles immediately. Uh, Corporal should be no big deal for you at this point. Oh, guys, I meant to show you what everybody's equipment was. I'm sorry. You can steal from these guys. I don't know what uh, they've got. I don't know if it's worth your time. Why didn't I use autocrossbow? Uh, this area can be a little tough. It gave me a lot of trouble as a kid. Uh, but I'm here doing it now, so go figure. We'll see how many times I have to film this episode. Okay. Uh, actually, let's use Bioblaster. A lot of these enemies are human type, so they should be weak against poison. Okay, yeah, Bio Blaster is the way to go. Make sure you keep an eye on everybody's health. Shit, I was gonna try and avoid that guy. We're gonna defend, we're gonna have Celeste heal everybody, and we're just gonna have Edgar Bio Blaster. Maybe it's cheating, but. It's not cheating. Um, might be bending the rules a little bit, but I'll take it. If it makes these fights faster, the sooner we can get to Kafka, the sooner the better off we're going to be. Now, don't forget, your other parties are also going to be getting into fights. Uh, that's why you have to make sure everybody's got the right equipment on. Like I said, I'm sorry I didn't show what that particular equipment was. Uh, I had a list of what to do with everybody, but I did sort of move from that list. Uh, make sure your head party has the best relics. I've got the Genji Glove and a Hyper Wrist on lock, uh, so he can attack twice in a row, and he has boosted uh, attack power. Okay, we're going to heal real quick. Uh, 
Good enough. We're almost to the bottom. Um, I believe there are a limited amount of troops he'll send out. Celeste has an earring and the ribbon on, just like previously. Edgar has a hyper wrist. And I want to say a star pendant. Okay, if you're not very high, high level, make sure that when you get down here. Okay, this is Hell's Rider. He has 1300 HP. He is not, he can hit real hard. Um, so make sure Celeste stays on cure. Uh, he's weak versus fire and poison, so we're going to use Bioblaster. And we're going to have Lock Attack. I don't remember what you can steal from him. I'm sorry. Uh, just try and keep everybody up. We're going to cure Edgar again because he's a little low on HP here. Bioblaster. Attack. See, he's got poison, so it's, it's actually affecting him, which is good because chipping away his HP a little bit. And then he's gone. Three rounds. If you're high enough level, not a big deal. And now you get to fight Kafka. Maybe. Maybe if one of two of my other characters didn't finally get into fights. That's okay. These guys should be no big deal for Savin and um, Savin and Cyan. Meteor Strike is probably your strong get well now rising phoenix is really really strong uh and we're gonna use flurry because he'll hit maybe all three enemies okay he'll hit all three enemies hopefully you'll only have a battle or two with your other parties if you move fast enough and you're strong enough and that's the hope you minimize the amount of fighting your other parties have to do. Now, Terra and Gar about to have a fight too, but we should be able to reach Kefka before they have to fight again. Uh, normally you'll keep Terra on heal duty, but with these guys, not a big deal. Let's use... Oh god, they changed everything on me. Let's use Ghost. And we'll have Terra use Fire. These guys should not put up too much of a fight. Hopefully you won't have more than one. And Thundara. Which is your second level lightning spell. See? Not a big deal. And now, we can face Kafka. Okay, this is Kafka. Looks a little bit different from last time we fought him, I know. Uh, he has 3,000 HP. We are going to try and steal from him, but I don't remember what he has. Hi, Ether. I'll take it. We're going to pretty much attack. Oh, holy shit, Celeste. He has no known weaknesses. So just sort of stick with physical attacks if you can. Um, I don't know if he has anything else you can steal. Nope, had no more items. That's okay. Uh, 3,000 HP at this point should not be that big a deal if you're level 15 plus. He's obviously not putting up much of a fight. Uh, we could have saved that if we had been spamming Runic with Celeste, but... Like I said, after the tunnel armor fight, I don't really use it. Like, it's good to have, but at this point we can sort of just wipe out everything. Is he already dead? And he flees. So, again. And he gives you a peace ring, which is a nice but sort of useless uh, relic. And he, like, zips out. Takes all of his soldiers with him. I'm gonna check the timer, because I do not know what we're up to right now. Okay, so, something's going on. Let's figure out what it is. It'll automatically fade to black, and 
you will automatically be up here where they put this Esper safe and sound on top of this cliff. That's good. Oh, that's unsettling. Um, I, I guess if it's some strange magical being and we don't really know what it is, I suppose that's really possible. Uh-oh. What's going on, Tara? Uh-oh. That blue light again. So let's go save lock this time. What what's going on, girl? Oh shit. Sarah, what what are you doing, girl? Reacting. Oh, like we saw in the that episode, the first episode. Wow. It's a little bit different. Yeah, what is going on? You talking to the Esper girl? Wong, Wong. It's responding to her. I mean, other than this flashy shit, what do you mean? Maybe introducing her to the S4 was not such a good idea after all, Edgar. Oh shit, with the lightning again. What just happened to Terra? She turned in some crazy pink thing. What is happening here? And she just flies the fuck away. We do get this sort of neat little overworld shot of her in her crazy pink berserk form. You can see on the little world map at the bottom where all she's going. Which is good because guess what guys? We gotta go find her. Repeating patterns of people waking up in beds. She looks like what? Oh. So maybe that's why she was communing with the Esper. But it also sort of states that Estelle has, or not Estelle, <laughs> Celeste has seen other Espers in the past. They weren't up to nothing. Yes. So yeah, we get to go on a westward across the sky. Beyond Figaro. So we gotta go west. And find where Terra went. Locke promises to protect a lot of girls, apparently.
Sure they will. Yep. Uh huh. Yeah, she's obviously a sweet girl who was in some sort of trouble. Even Cyan can recognize that. <laughs> That's the plan. Zero Castle can shuttle. Like, we know it can go down to the sand, but we'll have to see what he means here in a little bit. Kalingan or Jador. Okay. So, you can make a party of three or four here. Um, because there is a point where you can recruit Shadow coming up. The problem with that is he can run off on you at any time. So, maybe not the best idea. You can do it if you want to. I'm not going to. We will see Shadow again later, though. Don't worry. I like it better this way. And we're going to go ahead and take Savin. So Loxalus, Edgar, and Savin. And let's just make sure... It did automatically heal you after that battle. Let's make sure everybody's... You can see everybody's equipment that I set up earlier. I know it's a little late, but... Lock had the Genji Gov and the Hyper Wrist... Celeste had Earring and Riven, Hyper Wrist and Sniper Eye for Edgar, and Tatina Bloom and Star Pendant for Savin. Just put your best equipment on, everybody, just optimize the best you can. If you've got better equipment than this, great, but I was, as you can see, I was able to do it just fine without. Okay, so I'm going to come back here and talk to Arvis. That's what happened. That's the plan. We're gonna go figure out. Bannon was okay. There's Bannon. Okay, line man. Bye. I think you can talk to Gaul and Cyan to change your party members, but I'm not going to. We're gonna stick with who we've got. And finish out this episode, we're going to go ahead and loot the town of Narsh. Because we have that ability now. Check the clock. Nothing. Let's see. You see Terra is still listed as being in our party. Um, da -da -da. Mithril shields are better, so... I'd go ahead and buy one for everybody in your party. Wouldn't worry about people beyond that. Uh, because you can equip them later. We'll buy. We'll have a chance to buy more equipment later. So let's see. Item shop, relic shop, weapon shop. Let's go here because there's something we can get for lock. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. The, you can get the chain flail for Celeste, which is better than what you've got. It's going to take away her runic ability, but I don't use it a whole lot, so that's okay. And the moon ring blade for Locke. And I'll probably equip all this stuff off screen. Let's see. What is up here? A couple of these houses have treasure chests in them, so to sort of wander around. This is the Elder's house. He's in here. Let's check his clock. Got an elixir. We can talk to him, too, if he'd hold still. It's better to fight with everything you've got now, because they're not going to let you remain neutral for long. One way or another. Especially not with the Zesper near here. Do, 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 do. Don't know if the relic shop has anything new, but we're sort of running out of um, Gil anyway. 
Uh, you got a barrier ring, which is going to cast barrier on your character. Don't remember what Mithril Gov Glove does. Cast Protect when critically wounded. And that's it. You can buy those things if you want them. I'm not going to. Because I like the relics I have now. I'll probably buy them later. Let's see. There is a house. If I can get by here. Up here. Or a shack up here. Let's see. That's Arvis's house. It's not where we want to go. I think it's this one. And it's full of treasure. Only the chest in the back corner is locked. So he means this one. All the others are for the taking. Reflect ring, thief's bracer, thief's knife, earring, 5,000 gil. And I don't think these have anything in them. Nope. And we can't get to the clock because he's standing in front of it. Now, the Thieves Knife and Bracer are obviously for lock. I don't know if we're going to equip them right now, because I sort of like his setup. Uh, Thief Bracer will raise the success command rate. And the Thief's Knife is better than what we've got on now. That will sometimes steal automatically. So that's pretty good. So we're going to change to the Thief's Knife and the Moonring Blade. Really? Oh, because that ups your evasion. Sometimes parries enemy attacks. Um, eh. Not, not too worried about that. So that's something. There is another chest here somewhere. It's in somebody's house. Gotta remember whose. But the whole town is pretty much open to you now. Walk around, talk to people. Magic's real. Well, no shit, Sherlock. That's the... Uh, we can go into the inn. Don't know if there's anything here of interest. Of interest? But um... Shh. Lame jokes, I know. Um, <laughs> we're not going to stay because we don't really need to. If we go... Yeah, I, I know. I've seen them. They're awesome. If we go up in toward the um, mines a little bit, we might see something interesting. You don't have to do this. Oh, wait. Go back. Is that cave up there? We don't see him right now, but we'll see something there later. I thought you could see him now, but I guess I was wrong. Okay, I think that was all the treasure. House East has stuff. Yeah, we got the stuff in the East. I want to say that's everything. Make sure you're equipped. Make sure everybody's healed up, because we have a decently long journey ahead of us. We have had to head big debt back down to Figaro, uh, which I will do in the next episode. You can still come into the adventuring school. It's cheaper to use the bucket than it is to use the inn. And so, but in the next episode, we're gonna go ahead and go to South or go to Figaro and figure out how we're gonna get over to the Western Province. Thanks for watching. Bye.